idiot! Another day, another ass clown jerk caught on video. This is 37-year-old Rob Kohler. Over the weekend, he was caught on camera being a jerk-off to asthma al Just wondering why you have your camera out, taking a picture of me. Share that on Facebook, and then you start acting like a bitch. Can you tell me what you do? Do, do you have a green card? Can you tell me what you do? Oh, do I? She's an American, a Muslim, a grad student, and an intern for Georgia State Rep Brenda Lopez. Before their exchange began, Kohler says he was taking a photo of the coffee shop, but asthma claims he was photographing her. That's when she started recording him, and while he could have just walked away, he felt inclined to take a seat and get up in her personal space with some up-close verbal abuse. Well, we're gonna have a laugh. I was gonna share that on Facebook, and then you start acting like a bitch. Oh, so now I'm a bitch. You are. Yeah. Okay, because I asked you why you're taking a picture of me, I'm a bitch. Very nice to meet you. Wow. Can you tell me what you do? Do, do you have a green card? Can you tell me what you way? do? Oh, do I have a green yeah, card? Are you, a, are you even oh, a, are do you think I'm not American? <laughs> hey, this is your friend? I'd be ashamed. And see that smug look on his face as he greets Hi. his buddy, then walks away? Yeah, that didn't last very long. Elhuni posted the vid to Facebook, it went viral, and he soon started getting abuse of his own. In a Facebook post screen grabbed by the Daily Mail, he reportedly calls Asma a Muslim activist and says she confronted him. He also says he disagrees with President Trump's travel ban and apologizes to the people he knows, but not to Asma. Instead, he thanks her for helping him learn and grow. Over the weekend, U.S. President Donald Trump ordered a temporary ban on travel to the USA from seven Muslim-majority countries. The administration said the action was taken to strengthen the visa vetting process to prevent the entry of those who could potentially be threats to the United States. Asma claims that Kohler reached out to a mutual friend through Facebook and asked to open dialogue with her, but to that, she says, hell no. So the only response we reckon this jerk-off will be getting is the Facebook block button. Keep watching for more coffee shop mishaps. Woman in epic Michael's rant had similar tantrum at Chicago Coffee Shop. After her epic meltdown at a Michael's craft store in Chicago, netizens tracked down the crazy lady, identifying her as Jennifer Boyle. Her tirade at Michael's came off as racist when she insulted two black employees. But it seems Boyle is an equal opportunity harasser who just really enjoys railing against service staff. Last July, she was caught on video in a similar manner, blowing up at a Pete's Coffee and Tea in Boys Town after the white floor manager called her a bitch for haranguing his employee. In retaliation, Boyle screamed at him from across the room like an animal that he's literally the bitch. Oh, the irony. After claiming the barista going all up in her face made her fear for her life, she threatened to call the cops and corporate, even boasting about her 90,000 a year job before finally walking out. Boyle worked in HR for the Sinai Health System, but was fired from her cushy job in September. Probably explains why she went batshit over the $1 Michaels bag. Boyle is no stranger to the law either, having been charged with trespassing after she refused to leave a hotel back in 2013. The police probably know her pretty damn well already, considering her track record for calling the cops willy-nilly. And now that her antics have gone viral, you can bet people will just be waiting for a shit show to go down in every store she shops in. She's currently busy deleting herself from the internet, though, so who knows when the next chapter of the Jennifer Boyle screaming saga will arrive in stores. Hipster who robbed Texas Starbucks wanted by cops. Texas police have released surveillance footage of a sharply dressed man who, despite looking like he was going to indulge in a holiday spice flat white, held up this Garland, Texas Starbucks instead. Hot hipster dude went to a Starbucks in the 2100 block of Northwest Highway around 5 p.m. on November 19th. Dressed in a sweater vest, slacks, a trilby, and carrying a satchel, the man was the image of hipster perfection, no doubt making the barista swoon, until he took out a gun and proceeded to rob the joint. At one point, the dapper dude approached the counter like he was going to go for that flat white, but priorities. After taking an undisclosed amount of money from the register, hipster hottie took off with the cash, leaving only the CCTV footage for the barista to remember him by. A month later, police are still looking for the ironic bandit and have asked the public to help identify the mysterious criminal. Washington bikini barista dies after coffee stand explodes. 
A 26-year-old bikini barista and mother of two has died following a massive explosion at her coffee kiosk last week. An explosion struck the Sinners and Saints coffee stand on Everett Mall Way and 4th Avenue West in Everett, Washington last Thursday afternoon. Business owner Courtney Campbell was working at the stand when it suddenly exploded. A propane tank stored inside the stand may have contributed to the fire. The fire also spread from the stand to a nearby vehicle. Campbell died a few days later at Harborview Medical Center in Everett. Campbell was the mother of two girls aged three and eight years old. Her death has been ruled an accident by the King County Medical Examiner. Officer who burned himself with free coffee sues Starbucks. A North Carolina police officer is suing Starbucks for $50,000 after he claims a faulty but free cup of boiling hot coffee left him not only with painful injuries, but also ruined his sex life. Back in January of 2012, Matthew Cora, lieutenant with Raleigh's police department, walked into a local Starbucks. A barista saw that Cor was on duty and informed him of the chain's free cup of Joe policy for officers. After receiving his drink, Cor claims the lid popped off the cup and then folded on itself, spilling the blistering hot drink all over his crotch region. In the lawsuit, Cor says he tried to pour cold water on the burn, but the damage to his manhood only became even more excruciating. On top of all that, he claims that injuries aggravated his Crohn's disease and resulted in doctors having to remove a portion of his intestine. Cor's wife, Melanie, also named in the suit, says the coffee caused damage depriving her of her intimate partner. The Coors initially sued the barista who made the damaging cup, but the only defendant left in the case is now the Seattle coffee giant. If you were a juror on this case, which is expected to begin later this week, who would you side with? Let us know in the comments below.